I am Professor Dr. Namita Rajput, Professor in Department of Commerce, Sri Aurobindo College, University of Delhi. We are on with the new series on Finance for Everyone and under that series, today we are going to talk pertinently about India Post Payment Bank. Yes, Aapka Bank, Aapke Dwar. Starting with the statement of our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi. India Post Payment Bank is going to bring about a massive change in the economic and the social system of the country. Our government has earlier linked millions and millions of poor families to the banks through Jan Dhan accounts and today we are starting the task of taking the banks to the doorstep of villages and poor through the initiative. Your bank at your doorstep. This is not just a slogan. It is our commitment and it is our dream. So, we are going to start about elaborating about what India Post Payment Bank is all about, its characteristics, the services it gives and the comprehensive coverage it gives to the rural sector. Few of the sustainable development goals like ending poverty, reducing inequality and achieving gender equality could not be attained through financial inclusion or inclusive finance. Financial inclusion will inculcate the saving habit and it will in turn help us to wipe out the poverty and help the individuals to move up to the next level of development in a sustainable way. Inclusive financial system allow poor to ensure them and help them to protect themselves from any economic vulnerabilities like illness, unemployment, accident and theft. So it is more likely to benefit the disadvantaged group such as women, unemployed and rural communities. So in general, banks are known to be the institutions which provide financial services to the people. Next to bank, post offices and the subsidiaries of the post offices in various countries is the second biggest contributor to financial inclusion in and around the world. In India, the postal department plays a very big role in financial inclusion, especially in the rural areas. The department of post with its network of 1,54,965 post offices is the largest postal network in the world. India Post Payment Bank, abbreviated as IPPB, is a division of India Post, which is under the ownership of Department of Post, a department under Ministry of Communication of Government of India. India Post Payment Bank, that is IPPB, is mandated to remove the barriers for the unbanked and underbanked and reach the last mile leveraging the postal network. Now, this bank was opened in 2018, and India Post Payment Bank is an accessible, affordable, and reliable bank for the common man. With the help of just an Aadhaar card, any person in a village can avail banking facilities provided by IPPB by requesting for the same from the local postman or Grameen Dark Sevak. The Department of Post, the Division of Ministry of Communication of Government of India, owns the India Post Payment Bank, also known as IPPB, which was established in 2018 and has more than 5 crore clients in January 2022. The Reserve Bank of India granted the India Post permission to operate a payment bank on August 19, 2015. It was registered as a public limited government business for the purpose of establishing a payment bank on August 17, 2016 under the Communication Minister, the Department of Post. The Union Cabinet approved 
the cost of 1,435 crore of rupees that is 180 million dollars in August 2018 to set up the bank. The bank's first phase with 650 branches and 3,350 post offices as the excess points was inaugurated in September 2018. The IPPB pilot project was launched on January 30th, 2017 in Raipur and Ranchi. The India Post Office Bank, the introduction part I am starting with. The first section has received over 10,000 postmen. Bank had about 3.5 crore clients by September 2020. By December 2020, the bank had approximately 4 crore clients and India Post Payment Bank reached the milestone of 5 crore users in January 2022. The IPPB aims to utilize the India's 1,55,015 post offices as excess point and 3 lakh postal postmen and Grameen Dak Sevaks to provide doorstep banking services. Now coming on to what are the objectives of IPPB? In August 2015, India Post has been given an in-principle approval to set up a payment bank named India Post Payment Bank while India Post can leverage its vast network and rural presence. Running a payment bank will bring its own set of challenges. The project will investigate what different products and services that can be viably offered by IPPB, what challenges India Post Office will face during the rollout of the payment bank and what strategies it should adopt. Now coming on to what are the target segments of IPPB? The first and the foremost is migrant laborers, daily wage earners, blue collar workers, housewives, pensioners and micro and small and medium enterprises. The postal services have long been used globally for improving the financial inclusion. The initiative of setting up of IPPB is actually a wonderful segment which has come across in India, especially and covering and enraging and you know taking into considerations the most vulnerable population like migrant laborers, daily workers, blue collar workers, housewives, pensioners and MSME enterprises. So this is a wonderful initiative as far as the financial inclusion is concerned. India Post Payment Bank, the vision, mission, mandate and objectives of the payment banks have been stated as follows. Now coming on to the mandate of setting up of IPPB. The first mandate is financial inclusion through the extensive postal network. The vision of IPP is building the most accessible, affordable and trusted bank for the common man. Now coming on to the mission statement, it is about catalyzing easy access to formal financial services by removing the barriers for the unbanked and reducing the opportunity cost for the underbanked population. Coming on to the objective of the same, to set up a nationwide financial architecture that will be able to deliver all kind of payments, remittances, basic banking and access to loans, insurance, etc. Not only at the village post offices, but at the doorstep of the citizen. Now on the screens, you can see the vision and the mission statement. The vision is all about what we are going to see in future 
and mission is the current practices what ipb is doing to achieve the vision of this particular bank now vision is building the most accessible affordable and trusted bank for the common masses and mission is all about spreading the overall the financial inclusion by removing the barriers and reducing the cost of accessing the banking services the next is your customer base the customer comes from the different corners of the country and all walks of life while a significant proportion of them are from the rural areas and many have never possibly visited a bank or had a saving account before now with india's post legacy of serving the nation for over 150 years combined with the last mile connect of the trusted local dakia this is now very much possible whether it's a farmer or a senior citizen whether a specially able persons are there then kirana store owners students or housewives ipbb has been able to make a difference in their lives by not only bringing the banking services at their doorsteps but also creating an ecosystem that promotes and supports the inclusive growth so this is about expanding the customer base these things were not possible before the initiation of this pilot project by the government of india this is actually an appreciable step which is including the financial inclusion of the most uh, kind of a population which is vulnerable and was underbanked and in fact they have not even seen the banks as far so ipbb has been able to make this substantial difference in their lives touching their lives by initiating an ecosystem which is not only promoting the inclusive growth but also supporting it so you can see here the customer base here the students are there the housewives are there the farmers are there so overall the ecosystem which is more sustainable to promote the underbanked and unbanked people is a reality now after starting of this particular initiative so the india post banks the firm intent towards transformative reforms so the delivering banking services at the doorstep this is in fact the usp of this particular bank that it is providing you all kind of banking services at the doorstep which was never a reality so ipbb services and its features i'm going to highlight now ipbb services are available across 136000 post offices in the country of which more than 120000 post offices are in rural areas which is actually exhibiting the financial inclusion so this is two and a half times the number of the bank branches in rural areas more than 3 lakh postmen and gramin dak sevaks are providing door step banking facilities from ipbb to the people at their door step through mobile phones and biometric devices so they are carrying the technology with them they are including the people who are living in the rural sector and they are touching their lives by creating the bank accounts by moving on to their homes at their doorsteps and definitely using their mobile phones they are teaching them how to open the bank accounts how to operate the basic banking services in fact they are assisting the rural population also uh, in order to uh, you know create their banking habits using their biometric devices so the Pr prime minister modi had emphasized during the launch function of the bank that now a customer just by sending a message to a postman can avail the banking facilities at the doorstep with a minimum limit of a particular transaction india post is the largest postal network in the world it has been providing financial services 
through the small saving schemes, money orders and postal insurance. For more than 100 years, however, prior to IPPB, it was not a part of the banking system and was not equipped to provide all banking services. India Post Payment Bank was started to provide a comprehensive banking service including the digital financial service and a mobile banking to all the Indians. The doorstep delivery of the banking services to every household through a postman and the rural post offices. Providing banking services is also done in an assisted mode through a postman and Grameen Dark Savaks to help those who have no experience in digital banking. They will assist them with how the one-time password is to be put into the account, why it is not to be shared, how it is going to be used. So, all the basic steps in terms of the digital banking is assisted by the Grameen Dark Savaks who have been particularly trained for this reason. So, now coming on to some financial inclusive ecosystem statistics which is really good and needs a particular mention. If you come on to uh, the sustainable development goal number 5 that is for women. So, here it becomes a reality. Nearly 50% of the account holders are women. 98% of the accounts opened at customers doorsteps. Over 68% of the accounts held by women received a direct benefit transfer and the abbreviated form of direct benefit transfer is DBT. So, actually women were the beneficiaries. 90% of the customers from the rural areas and 24.01 lakh rupee debit cards were issued. 8.38 lakh digital life certificates were issued and 1.81 lakh customers insured through PMJJBY as on December 31st, 2021. So, through EKYC based paperless system, the most vulnerable and illiterate people can also take the advantage of the banking system just by using a biometric and Aadhaar card. They can open the account, do the transactions and make the payments through biometrics and using the Aadhaar card. They can get a DBT that is direct benefit transactions in their particular accounts and get a DBT money withdrawn in cash even at their doorsteps. So, now it is a reality, opening of the accounts, withdrawal of the cash, DBT transfers using biometric and Aadhaar card is possible. So, the people who used to think that they cannot even go to a bank and all these things were alien, the government of India has made it a reality and the banks are there at their doorsteps who are not only assisting them in the banking transactions but also giving them the financial literacy aspects also. Now, since the introduction of IPPB, the rural banking infrastructure has increased by 2.5 times. All the banks are now at the doorsteps of every household. The postmen and other postal workers have been trained and upskilled by imparting more than 1 crore man hours of training in delivering the banking services. And together they have been provided with more than 3 lakh micro ATMs, biometric devices thereby creating the largest single banking platform in the country. So, they are actually carrying the technology 
in their pockets and moving on to the households by taking care of their biometric so that the direct bank transfer is done in the right account. They are also carrying the micro ATM machines to make a banking in the rural sector a big reality. And there are several financial payment and citizen centric services that have been launched during the last few years. One Aadhaar enabled payment services, doorstep delivery of direct benefit transfer, doorstep generation of digital life certificate that is Jeevan Pram Praman certificate or Jeevan Praman Patra using a dark pay UPI app and the domestic money transfer. So, all these particular services which are started by IPPB is a step towards developing a sustainable ecosystem by which we are able to achieve the sustainable development goals by touching the financial inclusion part, financial literacy part, gender equality etc. So, there are some financial inclusive ecosystem which is serving the entire country and the network is number one. The updation of mobile numbers in Aadhaar and child enrollment for Aadhaar services are launched serving the millions at their doorsteps. So, this service of doorstep generation of digital life certificates was launched few months ago and more than 4.69 lakh Jeevan Praman certificates have already been issued at the doorsteps of the people. Because there was a particular scam in the earlier years in which the person was dead and since uh, and that was not notified to the government of India and they were getting the amount in their accounts. So, you know generation of this uh, Jeevan Praman Patra certificate will actually pave a long way and give advantage in this regard that there will not be any kind of a, a scam or a, a, a direct benefit transfer is done to those people who are alive only. And there are some general insurance like motors, two wheeler and four wheelers, health insurance services which were also launched and offered at the doorsteps. So, the group accident insurance is launched with a coverage of rupees 10 lakhs at a minimal premium. The cash based bill payments are able to facilitate the bill payments in cash from anyone at their doorsteps. So, now we are able to service the bill payments for all citizens regardless of whether they are IPPB account holders or not. IPPB having restrictions of extending the credit services have made strategic tie ups with the banks and NBFCs are providing the loan facilities to the rural masses on the referral basis. IPPB has launched the cash management services and the abbreviated form of cash management services is CMS for cash collections across all post offices for our partners who have limited reach in the rural location. IPBB has launched the FIN Inclusion, an initiative by India Post Payment Banks and Department of Post to build a technology led innovative solutions for financial inclusion in collaboration with the fintech startups. So, this particular collaboration is actually going to help in not only starting the innovative solutions which is backed by technology, but it is also focusing on financial inclusion. So, this fintech startups is actually a new wow feature of IPPB which is actually paying a long way in making a sustainable ecosystem and the financial inclusive system and the services which are provided by IPPB 
is actually substantial and helping and furthering in achieving the sustainable development goals thank you very much